This is amazing. Now we have Command R. This is a large language model from Cohere. Command R is a retrieval augmented generation at production scale. It has a strong accuracy on RAG and tool use, low latency and high throughput, longer 128,000 contexts and lowering price, strong capabilities across 10 key languages. And also you can see model weights available in Hugging Face for research and evaluation. It has a high performance in retrieval augmented generation, human preference on enterprise RAG use cases, and the dark pink is Command R, and the light pink is Mixtral. You can see the comparison here. You can also see another performance here in regards to end-to-end -end RAG. You can see the accuracy for Command R is higher compared to Llama 270B, Mixtral, and GPT 3.5 Turbo. When used together with embedding and re-rank model, this is performing higher. So the embedding and re-ranking model is the Cohere version. This large language model is good in function calling, that is enabling access to tools. You can see the comparison here between GPT 3.5 Turbo, Mixtral, Llama 270B, and Command R. And you can see the accuracy for the Command R is higher. This is multi-step reasoning with search tools. Next, if we see multilingual evaluation, even for that, you can see Command R performing much better. For needle in the haystack test, for 120,000 context window, you can see the performance here. This is nice. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Command R, a large language model released by Cohere. In this, we are going to see about the programming test and also logical and reasoning test. I'm going to take you through step by step. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Now we are going to use Cohere's Playground and the model we have chosen is Command R. First, we are going to use Python very easy challenge. So return the sum of two numbers. Just copying the instruction. Here the solution is locked. So we're going to ask Command R to give us a result for this. And I got the answer here. It was quick. Now I'm going to test it here and check. And it is a pass. Next, let's go to the easy challenge. Find the discount. This will create a function to find the discount. So I'm going to ask the large language model to create the function and it is created. Now I'm going to test the generated function and click check. And it is a pass. Next, going for the medium challenge. Find digital to analog converter function. So requesting the large language model to write a converter from digital to analog. So now requesting and here is the answer. I can see the response is very, very quick. Now testing it here and it is a pass. Next, going to the hard challenge, find domain name from DNS provider. So this should write a function to find the domain name from the DNS provider. So going to ask this to the large language model and clicking enter here and I can see the function got generated. So I'm going to copy the code and I'm going to test it here. Check. And that is a pass. Now going to the very hard challenge, identity matrix. So to write a function that takes an integer and returns the identity matrix. So I'm going to request the large language model to create a function. And here is the answer. Copying it, let's test that here. And clicking check. I can see it got passed for four and for the fifth test, it got failed. So I'm going to copy this error code, asking the large language model. Additionally, I'm going to use the test steps for better understanding. So I'm just going to click Submit. Seems like it's fixing all those provided test numbers. So going to redo it again. Now I'm going to test it. Check. It's a fail. Now finally going to the expert level challenge, creating ECG sequence, copying the instruction. So this function should generate a ECG sequence. So asking the large language model to do the same and got the answer here, just copying it and going to test it here. That is a fail. So going to copy the error code, going to give a final try and the code is getting generated and testing it here. So that is a fail. So overall, this was able to complete up to a hard challenge, but very hard and expert level challenge it was not able to complete but still is a good starting point. Now going to give some logical and reasoning test using GSM 8K dataset. So Natalia sold clips to 48 of her friends in April and then she sold half as many clips in May. How many clips did Natalia sell all together in April and May? That's the question I'm going to ask. And here is the answer. In the month of April, it's 48. In the month of May, it's 24. Totally 72 clips. That is correct. 
So here's another question. Wang earns dollar twelve an hour for babysitting. Yesterday she just did fifty minutes of babysitting. How much did she earn? I'm going to ask the last language model. So one hour that is sixty minutes, twelve dollar. So for fifty minutes it should be ten dollars. But here the answer is six dollars. So that is wrong. So this is a fail. But overall this model is good. It is a thirty five billion parameter model. Mainly it is rag optimized with. 128,000 context length. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, such as function calling with command R, rag application with command R. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.